with the 61st and Division Street Church of Christ uh, in San Diego, California. Uh, we want to first uh, welcome you and, and, and thank you for allowing us into your homes, into your living rooms, uh, where we can uh, come together virtually and, and worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, as you may have noticed, uh, we are not recording this. This is not a pre recorded morning. We are actually live in the building, in the auditorium. Uh, a few of us have gathered together for the purpose of leading uh, the congregation throughout the various parts of our worship service. And this is just a step in the way in which uh, the leadership, uh, which met yesterday, uh, is going to lead and to, and to try and consult with God and get the congregation back into worship here uh, in the But for this morning, uh, for this morning, we will uh, begin our uh, live worship services uh, uh, taped and, I mean, not taped, I should say, actually from the building. So the first thing we want to ask is for three things. We want to ask for I want to ask for your forgiveness as we go through these various parts of, of uh, a, a different way of us worshiping virtually and together. Uh, a few announcements and then we will uh, our call to worship. Uh, after this service, uh, for this service, we will have uh, obviously the announcements this morning. We'll have our call to worship. We will have communion and uh, the Lord's Supper. We'll have collection and we'll have scripture reading, prayer, and then we'll have uh, a few words from our minister. Uh, but after the words from the minister, uh, this live portion end with his prayer and then we'll go ask that you tune back in uh, here at the same station uh, same uh, uh, site at 10 o'clock uh, for the sermon that has been pre-recorded trying times trying troubles and trusting God so the message at 10 o'clock from uh, uh, this site will be trying troubles and trusting God which will come from Psalms uh, chapter 46, verses 1 through 4. Uh, but we have announcements. Uh, we, again, are uh, doing our worship services uh, in the building uh, so that you will have a, a live uh, telecast, if you will, of, of worship service. So uh, we ask that you uh, uh, allow us, again, to come into your living rooms, that you uh, pray along, sing along, uh, get out your Bibles, uh, pull out your communion kits, and we will go through our worship together as well as uh, hearing a word from uh, the Lord. So with that being said, uh, we will ask that you go with us in prayer as we uh, begin our worship service uh, on this morning. Father God, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for grace and for mercy. We thank you, Father, for, for sustaining us, sustaining us throughout last night and for allowing us to rise out of our beds this morning, Father, able-bodied, uh, ready and willing to begin this, uh, this week, this Lord's Day, uh, in worship and homage to you. Uh, Father God, we owe you. We owe you the entirety of our existence. Uh, and we ask, Father, that as we, we attempt to, to be better Christians today than we were yesterday, that you will uh, allow your, your Holy Spirit to, to reign within us, that you will allow the, the memories and, and the, the, the exploits that we can read about in Scripture to uh, encourage us, edify us, and uplift us as we attempt day by day to grow stronger and stronger. Uh, Father God, we thank you for uh, Jesus the Christ. Uh, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for being God uh, by yourself and for allowing us uh, this opportunity today. We thank you, Father God, for this church. We thank you for this gathering of people that, that though we are not uh, physically together, we are, are, are spiritually uh, one mind and of one accord. Uh, we ask you, Lord, to, to continue to uh, help us to be encouraged, edified, and uplifted during these trying times. Help us, Father, that, that know you to, to view this, this time in life uh, a little differently. This is a time, Lord, in which uh, you have turned the world upside down. Uh, you've turned it upside down such that, that you can see the world right side up. And if we that are called by your name will, 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 will humble ourselves and will, will uh, come to you, Father, you will allow uh, this world to continue uh, as you intended. Uh, Father God, we ask you uh, during this worship service, uh, during these times, Father, that you will continue to give us uh, a spirit of peace, a spirit of, of calm, a spirit of humility, irregardless of our outside circumstances, because we know our hope uh, is in you. 
These and our blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray and ask all things. Amen. Good morning. Today's call to worship will come from Psalms chapter 8, verses 1 through 9. Psalms chapter 8, verses 1 through 9. Please, uh, if you have your Bibles open, follow along with me. <clears throat> o Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Who have displayed your splendor above the heavens? From the mouth of infants and nursing babes, you have established strength because of your adversaries to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you take thought of him? And the son of man that you care for him, yet you have made him a little lower than God, and you have crowned him with glory and majesty. You make him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes through the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Now, if you would, please bow with me as we are led in prayer. Dearest Heavenly Father, once again, we come before you and we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. We open our hearts and our minds to you. And if they're not open, we ask you to open them. If our minds are not open to you, we ask you to open our minds. God bless you for having mercy and counting us worthy to come to you and worship, counting us worthy to seek you out, counting us worthy to be in your house. It does exist with man now. You are ruling over us now, and we want to thank you for being our God. And we want to thank you for having mercy on us to allow us another day of life. And for those that have passed on before us, God, we thank you for the time that we had with them, and we praise you for those moments, those instances that we had to share in this life with them. For your mercy, we all come to you, and we will praise you in heaven just as we have praised you on earth. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. We have come to a portion of our worship service where we are to commune with God, and we ask you if you will have your communion packets with you to uh, go ahead and participate at this time. I will first pray for the uh, bread and then I will pray for the cup. So please, if you would bow with me and uh, let us go to Jesus, let us go to God in prayer. Dearest Heavenly Father, once again, we just ask you for your mercy and your grace and we thank you for this opportunity to partake of the Lord's Supper. We especially ask you to bless this bread which represents Jesus Christ's body which was uh, broken on the cross for us. We ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And now I will ask for blessing of the cup. Dearest Heavenly Father, once again we come before you and we ask for your mercy as we partake of this cup which represents Jesus Christ's blood which was shed for us to cover our sins and we ask you to please have mercy on us and our families in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. At this time, we will prepare our hearts and minds to give. For we know that it's more blessed for us to give than it is to receive. Those are the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So go with me in prayer. Jesus, dear only Father, we come to you this morning just first and foremost, thank you for giving your son because you loved us, Lord. So at this time, as we give unto you, Lord, we give first to you 
because we love you because you first loved us. We ask that the funds that are collected may be used wise, that the brothers who oversee the funds will put you first, put the congregation, and do right by the monies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning's scripture will come from Psalms 46, verses 1 through 4. Again, that is Psalms 46, 1 through 4. And it reads, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. I have read to you from Psalms 46, verses 1 through 4. We will now have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you because we have nowhere else to go. We come to you, Lord, because you are God and God alone. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, which you have given each and every one of us. At this time, Lord, we ask a prayer for the Roberts family on the passing of Brother Robert's daughter. We ask that you comfort them. We ask that you give them the strength uh, that they so much need at this time, Lord. We ask that you continue to be with us as a congregation, Lord, for we know that the times are trying, the times are troubling, but we know that we can look to you, for you have all the answers that we need. For you, the word says you have given us everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness, Lord, so we thank you. We ask that you continue to look over those who are sick. We ask you to continue to look over those who are just going through tough times, Lord. There have been so many deaths over the last weeks. Mm -hmm. So many passings of our brothers and sisters in Christ, friends and family, Lord. But we know that nothing is new under the sun. For part of living is dying, and dying means that we can be with you forever, Lord. So we trust in your word. We trust in you. Continue to keep us and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Two selections before we hear from our minister, Brother Taylor McKenzie. The first song will be 517, When Morning Comes. And the last song will be 546, Jesus is Coming Soon. There will not be a break between the two songs. As soon as I finish uh, singing one song, directly go into the next. 517, then 546. Trying to talk on every hand, and we cannot understand. For oh, the way that God will lead us to that blessed promised land. But he'll guide us with his eye, and we'll follow till we die. We will understand it better by and by. We'll find and find when the morning comes and hope the saints are God again. We will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better by and by. We are all done destitute. And for the children and the food, thirsty hills and barren land. But we're trusting in the Lord and according to his word. We will understand it better by and by. We have fought and fought. When the morning comes and all the saints are caught together and home, we will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand. 
ended pillow by and by. Temptation in its net, often take us unaware. And now art the made to bleed, for it's only the word of deed. And we wonder why the death, when we try to do our best. But we'll understand it better by and by. Where by and by when the morning comes and all the saints are all together and home, we will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better by and by. Sometimes all I hear in a man on with fear, freedom we hold dear. Now is that same come in your heart to God, save and their chairs and rot, sink away pin ground, start grace in the way. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night, or noon. Many will meet their doom, probably will stop. And all of the text will rise, right to me, and must start going when no one dies, never but love. Love is so many go, losing their home on gold, missing God's word is told, he was a pound. When his life comes on to pass, slavery they hand and hand left, then we come there and pass, dropping with sigh. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night, or noon, many will meet, and to drop it with sigh. And all of our takes and rhyme, righteous men, and must I go and wear no one time, heaven one time. Trouble will soon be whole, happy forevermore. When we meet home that shore, free from all care. Rising up in the sky, telling this world goodbye. Home away then, where? Glory to share. Jesus said, Come in soon, morning or night, or noon, many will meet. Let do a trumpet with some. And all of the text shall ride right in me, and must I go and wear no one, died heaven one time. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. I'm indeed blessed by God's grace and mercy to be able to speak to you on this Lord's Day. In the wake of my great loss, I will share with you my spiritual and emotional condition and also share with you some leadership plans for this congregation. First of all, I'm thankful and blessed by the calls, by the food, by the cards of concern. And to say that I have completely recovered from the loss of my wife, your sister in Christ, that would be an overstatement. But I believe she is with the Lord now, and that's all that really matters. Mm -hmm. But by God's grace and by your prayers for me, I'm doing better. Please keep me in prayer. I need it desperately. Now I realize that my griefs and my loss are no exceptions. Some of you have lost loved ones, and I grieve with you. Just recently, we shared the loss of Geneva Roberts, Nita Hammersmith, Barbara Daniels, and most recently, the daughter of Brother Roberts. Please keep these family in your prayers. Also, I'm in daily contact with my sisters, Linda, Carolyn, and my sister-in-law, Angelino. In spite of their personal concerns 
in spite of their ordeals, they are sources of comfort and encouragement to me. Additionally, I am blessed by the support of our elders and deacons. I thank God for these men. In fact, I thank God for all the good brethren here at 61st and Division Street Church of Christ. At the same time, I have been blessed by many of you who have made constant contact with me by your calls of support. I sincerely appreciate those calls. Now, I realize that the virus prevents some of you from reaching out as you would like to. That's reality. You and I must deal with that. We must have the faith to deal with that. But recently, Brother Elijah Scott took time from his busy schedule to invite me to a golf practice. That was very refreshing. That was something I needed at that time, and I'm thankful to Brother Scott for allowing me to be with him at that time. But I want to give special recognition now to my secretary, Mary Hood. She has been a support for me. From the beginning until now, she's been with me. Her presence has been very consoling to me. Mary has completed for me the necessary clerical responsibilities that I could not and did not know how to complete for myself. She has lifted a weight off my mind and off of my heart. I thank God for Mary Hood, and I thank God for all of you. I have been blessed by your love. With respect to our leadership, we have faithful men here who have a faithful desire to go forward. But we want to use the good sense God has given us, and we want to be prepared to go forward. And so beginning next Lord's Day, our worship assembly service will be live. We'll use this as a move, this move as a measuring block to go forward. We pray that Almighty God will bless us to assemble again as a congregation. We can come together and praise God together. We pray God for that. We also pray that prayer that God will bless us to assemble again as a congregation. Now, let us pray together, please. God, our Father, we are mindful of our grief and pain and worry. Help us as trusting servants to believe only you can soothe our grief and our pain. Help us to have the faith that only you are our refuge and our strength, that only you are a very present help in the time of trouble. God, we recognize the uncertainty of our time. Help us to realize that certainty begins only with you. We sing the song, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. Father God, while we experience the death and loneliness which are occasioned by the loss of our loved ones, help us to call upon you through Jesus and the Holy Spirit to feel the emptiness, to feel the loneliness in our lives. Oh God, give us the strength to move beyond merely saying that you are in control of everything and help us to live and truly believe that Jesus is Lord and as Lord, and friend and advocate, he is constantly praying for us and for us, and he's thankful for us. The Holy Spirit will guide us, we pray. Strengthen us to cling to uncertainty of this time. Strengthen us to cling to your power. We don't know what befalls us in the future, but we know you have the future. Strengthen us to cling to the uncertainty of your time, of this time, and cling to the certainty of your power to deal with the uncertainty that we have now. Bless our congregation. Bless us to move forward. Bless us to reassemble as a congregation to praise and to praise God for you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.